समझ नहीं आ रहा अपने सैलरी इंक्रीमेंट का क्या करूं? बेटा इतना क्या सोच रहा है अपने म्यूचुअल फंड्स के एस आई पी का टॉपअप करा ले दिस इज द राइट टाइम क्या समझ में नहीं आया <coughs> बेटा इतना क्या सोच रहा है अपने म्यूचुअल फंड्स का एस आई पी टॉपअप करा ले दिस इज द राइट टाइम आप समझा Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully. How do you look at these drugs? Do you look at them as a way for people who want to look better or do you actually look at them as this is a really serious dramatic health intervention? So I think the latter is definitely true. I think these drugs are game changers for our health. they are not for everybody and they may have side effects we'll talk about that yeah. but the truth is that we are not doctors are not looking at it as looking at these drugs as cosmetic measures we are looking clearly at obesity is a condition or a disease if we lose fat along with other beneficial effects we'll get i mean diabetes will go away yeah blood pressure will come down yeah heart disease will come down a uh, kidney disease progression comes down fatty liver melts away and then the arthritis and all those other things so it's a huge medical advance which is what i keep telling people when you're looking at them purely as cos- as cosmetic drugs and then you're looking at side effects a different story we are looking at these drugs reducing semaglutide for example 20% reduction in cardiac uh, events for people with diabetes can you so, take us through in detail how this drug acts So any of these drugs not there's not yeah. one so so uh, semaglutide is the prototype right now that is a glp1 agonist uh, that is a drug that acts like glp1 acts on the pancreas to enhance uh, secretion of insulin suppresses the glucagon acts on the brain to control our appetite and other things acts on the movement of the gut uh, it slows down stomach movement so all these things this drug does now there are many other modes of action which are not understood like like anti inflammatory action it seems is more than just through the fat See, so you you you, you mean it's an anti so you mean that apart from containing weight or reducing weight it is an it is having an anti inflammatory impact that's what recent studies that could suggest. help other diseases yes. triggered by yes, inflammation yes, yes that's that's exactly what current like alzheimers So Alzheimer's is so all these much of these effects are linked to just fat. See, excess Alzheimer's we, we, is linked to look, we, Alzheimer's is linked to fat. We 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 look at like weight, you know, external weight. But what happens is there's fat deposited inside our organs, around our organs, and that plays a big role. Like the liver, you all know, fatty liver that is fat inside the liver. So similarly, there are brain lipid alterations. Now these drugs presumably act at that level, and therefore Alzheimer's studies are fascinating. even parkinsons not proven yet both of these but alzheimers is at a more advanced stage and we do expect that something positive will come out but we have to wait and see so the action and we will find many other benefits that's my guess the key research questions one you already asked who are the responders or the non responders the second is what actions are determined purely by reduction of adipose tissue as we yeah, call fat yeah, inside yeah. and what are independent of that that is being worked out and one of the things that's emerging in that is that the anti inflammatory action may be not just linked to the reduction in fat and that's fascinating and fabulous but let's come to the flip side the side effects yes. right uh, one of the things that sounds scary somebody like me who has a nervous stomach travels a lot is on the road a lot has to work a lot gets uncomfortable if my stomach is not feeling comfortable um Here's these stories of periods of nausea, gastric discomfort. How severe are these? Do we have enough research? Are they mild? Are they the kind that you know you have a loose tummy, you take a Norflox, it becomes okay. You take a Perinom for your nausea, it becomes okay. Or is it something graver? With full doses of these drugs, almost half the people get these effects. That's a very high percentage. So mild nausea is very common. it's rare not to have some nausea okay uh, but that's usually people handle it well more severe nausea and even vomiting and sometimes significant constipation i have had patients very distressed by constipation uh, episodes of diarrhea 
all these are known and they are not uncommon and why do they happen because it's a gut hormone basically so it's acting on the gut and everybody is responding differently yes differently i mean imagine constipation and diarrhea either can happen yeah. so so it's a, it's a, they clearly have gut related side effects now the that is a downside of course the day you have some molecules that don't have those effects it will be another huge jump nevertheless most of these side effects can be managed by normal stuff like take an anti emetic take a pantoprazole or something you know for your acidity take something is a goal for constipation most of them can be managed like that and how long do these side effects last and the other important point is mm -hmm. that they are mostly transient so people who are able to hang in there